we want to solve the equation 3.2x minus 0 0.29 equals 1.5x plus 1.58. The solution to the equation is the value of x that satisfies the equation, which means the solution is the value of x that makes the expression on the left side of the equation equal to the expression on the right. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, but before we do this, notice how the equation contains decimals, and therefore, we need to decide whether we want to solve the equation with the decimals in it, or first clear the decimals from the equation. In this video, we will be clearing the decimals from the equation. To do this, we need to look at all the decimals and determine the most number of decimal places any of the decimals have, and notice how we have at most two decimal places, and therefore, to clear the fractions, we'll have to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. Multiplying by 100 is equivalent to moving the decimal point to the right two places, which will eliminate all the decimals from the equation. Let's go ahead and show each product. So on the left, we'd have 100 times 3.2x minus 100 times 0 0.29 equals 100 times 1.5x plus 100 times 1.58. So 100 times 3.2x is equal to 320x. Again, 100 times 3.2 is the same as taking 3.2 and moving the decimal point to the right two places, 1, 2, and adding a 0 for the missing digit, which gives us 320. Minus 100 times 0 0.29 equals 29, equals on the right side, 100 times 1.5x equals 150x, plus 100 times 1.58 equals 158. Remember, our goal here is to isolate x on one side of the equation, and we cannot do this if we have x terms on both sides. So let's undo or eliminate the 150x on the right side by subtracting 150x on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify both sides. 320x minus 150x is 170x. We still have minus 29 equals, on the right, 150x minus 150x is 0, and therefore the right side is just 158. Notice now we have a basic two-step equation. Let's continue on the next slide. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term, which means you want to undo minus 29 by adding 29 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying both sides, plus 29 undoes minus 29, or negative 29 plus 29 is 0, and therefore we have 170x equals 158 plus 29. And for our last step, because 170x means 170 times x, to undo this multiplication and solve for x, we need to divide both sides by 170. On the left, dividing by 170 undoes multiplying by 170, and therefore the left side simplifies to x, or 170 divided by 170 is 1, and 1 times x is x. So we have x equals 187 one hundred seventieths, or one hundred eighty-seven, divided by one hundred seventy. And because the original equation contained decimals, we would normally give the solution in decimal form. If we did give the solution as a fraction, though, we would want to simplify this fraction. One hundred eighty-seven and one hundred seventy share a common factor of seventeen. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by seventeen, we can simplify the fraction. One hundred eighty-seven divided by seventeen is eleven. 170 divided by 17 is 10. So as a fraction, the solution is 11 tenths, which is a decimal would be equal to 1.1. 11 tenths is the same as 1 and 1 tenth, which is 1.1 as a decimal. Or if we needed to, we could divide the numerator by the denominator. Notice 11 divided by 10 would be 1, because there's 1, 10, and 10. 1 times 10 is 10. We subtract. 11 minus 10 is 1. Because we're looking for the quotient as a decimal, we place a decimal point in the dividend, move it up to the quotient, and now we can add a zero to the dividend and bring that zero down. 
is exactly 1, 10, and 10. 1 times 10 is 10. Subtracting, the difference is now 0. Verifying the solution as a decimal is x equals 1.1. Before we go, though, let's verify our solution by substituting 1.1 back into the original equation. So again, to verify the solution is x equals 1.1, we'll substitute 1.1 for x in this equation here. So we'll have 3.2 times 1.1 minus 0 0.29 equals 1.5 times 1.1 plus 1.58. To check our solution, we need to verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. And we'll do this using the calculator. On the left, we have 3.2 times 1.1 minus 0 0.29, which is equal to 3.23. And now let's make sure we have 3.23 on the right as well. We have 1.5 times 1.1 plus 1.58. And notice how we do get 3.23 on the right side as well. So because 3.23 is equal to 3.23, our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.